Happy are you, holy Virgin Mary, and most worthy of all praise. For from you arose the Son of Justice, Christ our God, for whom we have been saved and redeemed. Amen. Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have you are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have you are the Word made flesh, the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your faithful, who rejoice under the patronage of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, may be freed by her lovely intercession from all evils on earth and merit to attain of eternal joys in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> Do not 
not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. You have pure heart to create me in me. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. Pure heart to me. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled, contrite heart, you will not spare. Pure heart to me. The disciples turned away, but Jesus said, Let the little children alone, and do not stop them coming to me, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of heaven belongs. Then he laid his hands on them and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Ezekiel uses the analogy of a father-son relationship to explain the catastrophe of the fall of Jerusalem and the exile. Perhaps then for us it's a lesson in understanding that there are consequences to our actions. And if only we could learn those lessons, the world I'm sure would instantly be a better place. For surely we would be making better choices and more ready to do penance when we have fallen short of God's glory. The Lord has a special love for his children. He draws them close in order to bless them. And just because he also punishes transgressors does not limit his love. Every parent knows that children require discipline and occasionally need to be punished. Uh, but to be very clear, that punishment must always be proportional. It must never be to humiliate the child. Our goal is always to move them to contrition and a firm purpose of amendment. Indeed, all punishment should have rehabilitation as its aim, that the individual retake their place in the community and grow and learn from their mistakes. Traditional teaching shows that the Lord holds justice and mercy in balance. That's something that we very much struggle with because our emotions often get in the way. Any punishment must be for the individual who has perpetrated the crime. We reject collective punishment. That's relevant perhaps today in Israel and Gaza and Ukraine and Russia. Or we can't have this continued punishment for historical crimes. That's relevant perhaps today in those calls uh, for people to pay compensation for slavery. It just doesn't work. It's just not possible. Of course, we must always be careful not to attribute simple solutions to complex problems. We have sympathy for those who see suffering in purely negative terms. However, as Christians who have been illuminated by the cross, we can see that our sufferings can have a redemptive value. We can offer our pains and hardships for the salvation of a soul, our own or another, especially the holy souls in purgatory, who are in justice making up for any residual consequences of their earthly actions. The universal call to holiness means we steer clear of those deadly sins 
which eat away at our true dignity. We dedicate ourselves to a life of service. We strengthen our souls against temptation. And then we don't give in because we're serving so well that we're too busy to sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Look, O Lord, upon the prayers and offerings of your faithful presented in commemoration of the Blessed Mary, the Mother of God, that they may be pleasing to you and may confer on us your help and forgiveness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds and the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's end, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the loneliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the Holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognising the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Mary Magdalene, St. Martha, St. Richard, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Richard, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, for whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. And the Saviour's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, but not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Lord has looked on his lowly handmaid. Behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. Let us pray. Renew by the sacrament of salvation, we humbly beseech you, Lord, that we who have honoured in veneration the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, may merit to experience in perpetuity the fruits of your redemption through Christ our Lord. Uh, and just a few moments, uh, we'll have a period of adoration of the Blessed Sacrament uh, to pray for the successful implementation of the Diocese and Pastoral Plan. Uh, and a few moments after that, I'll be available in the, over, just over in the corner there uh, to hear any confessions. The Pastoral Plan Prayer, Lord, the Word who is life, may all the people of our diocese grow in openness to the power of the Holy Spirit, so that through a growth in understanding and courage, and truly open to your call, we may be a powerful witness to all around us, for you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen. 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 Amen.